I'd like to introduce you to Gravity Press, which is our latest plugin from Restrato Apps. And we made this plugin for the simple purpose of allowing site owners and developers to be able to integrate Gravity Forms to Member Press, the popular membership plugin, uh, and allow basically you to take checkouts or signups through Gravity Forms and add them seamlessly and automatically to member press. So that's what it does. I'm going to show you a little bit about um, how it works and how to set things up actually in this video. So let's talk the requirements that you'll need to set up Gravity Press and get everything working. First of all, obviously you're going to need Gravity Forms, the plugin. Now there's a couple things. Gravity Press, our plugin, utilizes the add-on user registration, um, which is an add-on that comes with the developer license of Gravity Gravity Forms. So if you go into here, you can see there's basic add-ons and advanced option events uh, add-ons, and all the way down. If you go into the advanced area here, all the way down here is where you'll see the user registration add-on, and this is um, important for those of you who want to take brand new signups for your membership site from people who have not yet registered for any products yet or they're not they don't have a, an active WordPress account on your on your WordPress site and so this is a handy little add-on that allows you um, to integrate um, uh, gravity forms and basically when someone fills out a form they fill out their name and their email it'll automatically create a WordPress account for them using this add-on this um, this add-on is the functionality that allows, again, that, that WordPress account to be created. Now, if you just want to allow your current members of your membership site to either upgrade to another level using Gravity Forms, which some people want to do that, so they don't actually want to take new user signups, they just want to have their current members be able to um, upgrade or add additional member press levels to their account. This, uh, you know, this means that you'll only probably need at least the personal license because you're not going to be creating new accounts in WordPress. In that case, uh, you'll need at least the basic license of this, and you can use that again. Gravity Press, our plugin, will, will also allow you to add member press, add users to member press levels, um, both for existing members of your site as well as new new members that have not yet registered for your site. But again, if you want them uh, to register as a brand new user, you're going to need to get the developer license of Gravity Forms. Uh, the other thing you're going to need, of course, is MemberPress. Now, the nice thing about Gravity Press, which is our plugin, is that you you know it, many many integration plugins do require or systems require the developer edition of MemberPress because of the API functionality. Um, but ours does not actually. You can even use the basic business edition. Uh, for Gravity Press to work, so that's kind of a nice, um, a nice aspect of our plugin. So just have the basic edition, and again, we do recommend probably a developer license, but at minimum the personal license of Gravity Forms. Okay, so let's test this. I have uh, my name filled out. It means I'm logged in. Everything's good there. I'm going to choose the gold membership, and I'm just going to put in a fake credit card here because I have Stripe testing enabled. Five, six, seven, eight. Choose any random month and year, and let's submit that. I'm going to be given whatever default or whatever confirmation message I've set up for that form, which is the default for now. And now, if I go to transactions in MemberPress and refresh this page, I should see a new transaction. This means that this person, which is the logged in user, of my account was added to the membership level of my choosing. Now in terms of the transaction ID you can see that uh, it might look different than the number might look different than your other transaction IDs. If you've used MemberPress the built-in checkout system it, it'll have a different prefix. If you use like manual it'll also have like a different prefix with maybe an M. Um, but if you see GF that means gravity form so that means it came through gravity press and was the order was taken through that way. That way you can e more easily distinguish and uh, identify how the person paid, basically. 
Now let's go and quickly demonstrate what it's like if you're a new user and you've never registered before. We'd want to go into the form and enable the user registration plug-on plugin or add-on. And you can learn about how to do that through Gravity Forms. They give you lots of support on, on that because it's their add-on. So we're going to go to the same form, but logged out now. I'm on a brand new incognito window, and you can see there's nothing filled out here. And because of that, the Gravity Forms user registration add-on will be kicked in this time. It'll be triggered. So I'll do Kevin Marshall, and then I'll just do a, um, a nonsense email. This time I'll choose silver. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm ready to sign up as a brand new user to the site, and we'll see what happens. And so far, so good. You should be able to see a new transaction that showed up. Cool, and so we see a new transaction here on refresh. Um, again, a unique ID shows the different membership silver this time, and it shows the new user that was created. If I click into this, I'll see that new user and their profile, get more information on who that person is. And also, um, so there's that. Also, it expires upon the date that member press uh, is set to for that particular level that I created, so it's a year out from here. Cool, so that's an overview of the basics of Gravity Press and how you can use it to integrate and allow people to sign up for your membership website using Gravity Forms and easily add them to your membership uh, levels. To get a full demonstration of how to set up Gravity Press, We've created another video for that, so to, to get to that video, please click on the link in the upper right-hand corner of this video, or we've put a video link in the description of this video as well. If you want to know more advanced features um, down the road, um, you know, we'll have extra videos on that. If you have any other questions, just feel free to uh, use our contact form and send us an email here at Restrato Apps if you just go to support and we'll be happy to, um, to answer any questions that you have about it. Thanks so much.